In this exercise, you can learn the JavaScript methods behind drawing text and text strokes to the canvas element. The first thing I'm going to do is add a couple of comments. That way we can all see the parameters that the fill text method and the stroke text method intake. So the first parameter they take in is the text, whatever string of text is to be displayed. Then the X position and the Y position for that text and the max width is an optional parameter. So first I'll use the fill text method. CTX dot fill text and I'm going to add the parameters needed. First I'm going to add the string of text and I'll just write in text on canvas. Now the next parameter is the X position. We'll put that at 50 and the Y position we'll put that at 50 as well. So if we refresh our canvas over here we see that we get the string text on canvas. Now right above that we're going to use the font property and we're going to put in a space separated list of attributes for the font. So I'm going to add the space separated list of attributes that I want. I want it to be italicized, bold, then I want 56 pixels for the size of the text and I want it to have the Arial font family and if Arial is not available it'll fall back to sans serif. So if I refresh my canvas now I get all the attributes that I want applied to that font. So really you could just put it on 400 for normal and then 900 for bold or the word bold. If I change the size, if I put this at 30 pixels and if you don't want the text italicized you can just remove the italic and it's normal. But I'll just leave that in place so you guys can reference it. Now I'm going to add a fill style which we learned about in previous exercises. And this is an orange color. Let me refresh. Now I have orange text. Now I'm going to write in ctx.strokeText which is another method we can call on that will add a stroke around our text and we can just borrow the values that are in our fill text method, put them in the stroke text method and refresh our canvas. And then we get a nice stroke. And you can use line styles and stroke styles to style this stroke. And we learned about those in previous exercises. You can use ctx.line width, for instance, is equal to 3, and then refresh. And then you see you get a 3 pixel width on your stroke around the text. So there's lots of different ways you can style the fill and the stroke for your text. Let's get rid of that line width. Now we're going to apply the text align property. So we'll type in ctx.textalign and we're going to make it equal to start by default. And let me put single quotes around everything. That way it's all consistent. You can have single quotes or double quotes around all of these strings. All right, so we'll see that start has a default setting. If we refresh our canvas, we see no change. But if we change that to end, refresh, we'll see that our text moves. Change it to left, to right, and center. So I'll just leave it on start. That way you can specify certain alignments for the text. Now we're going to apply the ctx.baseline property. And the default baseline is alphabetic. So if I refresh I should see no difference. But what if I change alphabetic to top and refresh? Middle and refresh. Bottom refresh hanging refresh and you'll see that some of these settings are identical to other settings within the list so I'll just leave mine on hanging now if you wanted it to be where the stroke or maybe another line of text had these properties applied to it or the styles you can just take your fill text control X and put it above those and then that way your stroke will be the only thing affected by those properties. So let's refresh and you'll see that the stroke has taken on these properties, the align and the baseline properties, but the fill of the text has not. That's because we drew the fill text in and then we assign those properties and then we draw the stroke. And that's pretty much everything there is to know about drawing text on the canvas.
Now of course you can animate that text, but animation techniques are something we're going to cover in later exercises. We gotta get through all the basics first. Now if you want to add the optional max width, you can put this at something like 200. And let's also do that, well you don't have to do it for both, you can just do it for the fill and then refresh. You'll see that it has a max width now of 200 pixels. And the same goes for the stroke text method. So let's put that on something like 300, so it's not so squished. There we go. And that completes the JavaScript methods and properties behind drawing text and text strokes to the canvas element. In the next exercise, we'll cover shadows.